Today we're going to talk about some of the features we have inside the timeline. And before we do that, I need to mention that Premiere, like any other Adobe programs, like to work in layers. Now what I mean by that is right now we do actually have one clip inside the timeline, and that one is on layer 1. Meaning that if I take another clip, I don't actually have to drag it on top of the footage, I can actually drag it on a layer on top of this one. So this is a really good way to prevent you from actually destroying the existing footage, and it makes it easier to go back and make changes, if you want to, to the existing footage. Now, the reason you need to know about the layers is because some of the features we have inside the left side here will actually affect how you insert footage inside the timeline and on which layer it's going to be on. If I were to actually double click my other footage down here, you guys can see that when I do actually insert the footage inside the timeline, we insert it right on top of the existing layer, which you don't want to do. I do actually want to insert it on a layer above this one. So what we can do is we need to actually tell it which layer we want to target. And we can do that down here on the left side by holding and dragging these V1 and A1, which stands for video one and audio one, inside the next layer. Which means that right now, if I were to insert it now, it gets inserted into the next layer. Now we still have a problem though, because right now, as you guys can see, it still breaks the already existing footage, which we don't want it to do. So what we need to do as well, is we need to actually go in and click these buttons, which are called toggle sync lock, which means we're telling the timeline we don't want this footage to get affected when we insert footage inside the timeline. So right now, because we did actually tag these on, it won't get affected, and we told Premiere to insert the footage on the next layer, now if I insert, you guys can see it gets inserted in the next layer, and the existing footage is not breaking. Now we also have some other features down here, which is the padlock, which simply locks the layer. We could also do that instead if you want to insert footage but not affect this layer. But doing it this way will not allow you to actually edit the footage, which can get quite annoying if you just want to do this just so you can insert footage. What we can also do is we can actually mute the track so we can't actually hear the audio from this video. And now if I play it, you guys can see we have no audio. If I uncheck it, now we have audio again. We also have an S, which stands for solo track, which means that right now I do actually have two videos on here, but if I only want to hear the audio from one track, we can check this one on. So now we can only hear the audio from layer one. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.